Hello. Let me call you back. I'm in, I'm about to do the podcast with Steve. Are you? What's wrong? Okay. Are you gonna be okay for like a few minutes? Alright, man. Hey, what's up, man? Everything okay? I don't know. Everything okay? Okay. I thought it was trying. All right, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, da, 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 welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. I'm Juan Farage. And uh, we are smack dab in the middle of award season right now, which is where Hollywood basically gets together and they uh, they they jerk each other off and say, "Hey, this was great," and no. uh, you get you get. You get awarded for these great things. Uh, we already had the Golden Globes. We had the Screen Actors Guild Awards, and last night we had the Grammys. Um, so we're here to talk about that, and we're. Why? I gotta do this phone call real quick. What happened? Just... Wow, that was that was serious. I know. It is. I wouldn't do this if I wasn't serious. I gotta find out. Wow, what a, what an interruption, really. So, listen, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you didn't know, I'm running for public office. It's pretty cool. You can check me out, stephencorka.com, or just search me at Stephen Corka. Batsy just walked in. He's wearing a, a skin tight Tommy Hilfiger t shirt. I don't I don't know why he is. It's like it's like it's not one of those like new ones either. It's like one from like 1992, like when Tommy Hilfiger just became popular. Like oh yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's like that. What's up, at Patsy? What's up? Yo. See, you, you heard him, right? Yeah. You see, you, should, you should see the shirt. You should you should totally see the shirt right now. It's like a super tight, it's super tight, like a muscle tee. <laughs> Anyways, we got a Susie Fett in the house, too. Um, so, what else is going on? Well, um, I've been pretty busy because... Um, like I said, I'm running for office, which is like buying a house, actually. When you get started, you just got to give them all your financial information and all that other stuff. It's kind of, all that stuff is boring, you know, and, uh, you know, get, open a bank account and, you know, do all, do all that other fun stuff, uh, create social media links. I made a website that was pretty cool, you know, um, and uh, that once he never gets up and does this. But of course he lit a cigarette up. Whatever's going on, he had to make sure to light that cigarette. I swear that kid. I don't know what's going on with him. You know, I called him over the weekend, uh, and every time I called him, I woke him up. Like literally, I was waking him up. And it was like two o'clock in the afternoon, five o'clock in the afternoon, seven o'clock at night. You know, ten o'clock at night. Always sleeping, like nonstop. You know, at his house, he still has the hurricane shutters up on his, on his house. Like from Irma like I'm like take the hurricane shutters down it's like a dungeon in his house he says he likes it no wonder he's sleeping all the time it's always dark in there there's nothing else to do but just like you know y you get screwed with and you think it's like three o'clock in the morning the whole time and uh but yeah he won't take the he's he's I'm surprised he put the hurricane shutters up to be honest but but no the hurricane shutters are still up at his casa um and it's funny at his house too because like like he's got these he's got these huge statues like everywhere through his house too like they're like <laughs> like big bald eagle statues like super patriotic like america um and uh and and i don't know i don't know it's it's not my bag of tricks but whatever whatever works for for him you know but he's always he's always playing video games hold on hey was Watsky playing video games last night no 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 it's playing Oh, so you don't know if he was then? Not that I know of. I was on. You just said none of us played. I was on, but I didn't see him saying like it was played. Because on, on the Xbox, you can see when someone's out playing or watching TV. Batsy. Or watching Netflix. He was offline. Batsy, Batsy's got stalker status going right yeah, there. Stalker, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's, he just said, he just said, he just said, when I'm on, I can see what you're doing. Yes, even if you're not doing it. It's like, are play. they watching Netflix? Are they, are they playing a game? Okay. I can see what they're doing online. No. Oh, 
God, I want to show you guys his shirt so bad, but I'm not going to. Anyways, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on the window. See what Wanski says. He looks, he looks so concerned. He's like, he did this, and then he, then he walked away even farther. I wasn't even knocking hard. Anyways, so. Let me tell you how Wanski got his name. So like we have a guy that uh, sells insurance or used to sell insurance in our plaza. His name was uh, Jonathan. And he would just call Juan Wanski. And I liked it. I was like, Wanski, it's like Brewski for beers, but Wanski, you know? It's more syllables too, it's not as easy to say. But, you know, Wanski, it's got a nice ring to it. Like Polish, right? That's how, you know? Like 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 that northwestern vibe, like like Chapowski or something like that. Mike Chapowski. Yeah, one of those like names. I'm from Buffalo, so like that stuff is all over the place in Buffalo. All those people with those names that end with like the S K Y sound to it, the ski or the S K E E S. You know, Lepunkski, Chapowski. You know. Um. But yeah, damn, he's still out there. I must have been. I I'm not good at talking to myself. I'm not that vain. Um, what else is going on? It's tax season. That that sucks. You know, we gotta pay our taxes. But you know, it's important that we pay our taxes. Firefighters, policemen, the roads. People forget about the roads, but that's not free. It gets paid for by us. Even though the roads in South Florida are just always under construction and always suck. But whatever. What are you gonna do? Okay, he tossed the cigarette. I think he's done. I think he's coming in. He's gonna smell like an ashtray, which sucks. I gotta deal with that, but whatever. Wanski, yeah. is everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You've never done that before. Yeah. An emergency. Wow. Oh, well, it must not be that much of an emergency because you're back. Well, my life's not over, so. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so like we said, uh, it's we're 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 smack dab in the middle of award season, so we're gonna talk about that, but we're also gonna talk about uh, the Netflix show, The Toys That Made Us. Sure. The toys it made. Uh, are you going to be in a good mood or are you just going to be a fucking whatever? No, I'm like, in my, what just happened? I'm in my regular mood. Wait, so what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk about the toys it made us? We're talking about the Grammys. Or do you, you want to talk about the, the, the awards? Let's go. Award season. So last night we had the Grammy Awards and uh, Wonski didn't even watch it. I called him. I woke his ass up as I mentioned earlier. And I'm like, watch the Grammys. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. He didn't even wake up. No. Did you wake up at all last night? No. So you slept the whole time. Yeah. So you feel pretty energized today. No. All right. Anyways, go talk. What? Well, I I didn't feel like I I needed to watch it. I know it was a bunch of Hollywood liberals probably politicizing the award show, and um, from what I read, that's what it was. That's all you have to say. Uh huh. And I have to say, I disagree with with album of the year. You, you disagree with Bruno Mars? I 100% disagree with Bruno, Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars took all the top awards, not just album. Year. He, he took, took, he took six song, awards. He took song, album, and record. Every award he was nominated for. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, look, listen, listen. listen I listened to the Bruno Mars album. It's a, it's an almost flawless throwback to like early 90s R&B. Okay. New Jack Swing, you know, stuff like that. Um, stuff that won awards in the 90s. Um. But whatever. What is what's old is new again. It's a pretty good album. It really is. Uh, it's arranged well. The songs are well. The thing well. is, I I listen to Kendrick well. Lamar. Well, I, his album okay. and his album was amazing. But did you listen to Bruno Mars's album? No, I heard his singles. Okay, so you can't really talk shit then right now, can you? I I know that what I there's no way that anything on that album is there stuff on that album that's better than his singles. Um, there's some stuff that's pretty good, you know. But better than his singles? But it, it, it's Like, all, what I like is, like, the big one, right? There's that. There's 24 Karat Magic. Right. There's that Versace on the floor he had out. Yes. And then, and then there's that new one. He has Finesse. Right. With Cardi B. With Cardi B, right. Yeah, which is, like, a total, like... I, I believe that none of those songs are better than Humble or DNA. Damn. And <laughs> <laughs> I believe that DNA is probably the best... The best song that's come out that came out last year. Not only that, I'm still salty about the fact that To Pimp a Butterfly lost. Anyway, so I figured that he was going to win not only because he had, in my opinion, the best record of the year, but because he got ripped off the last time. But the Grammys just don't embrace rap. 
you know, I mean, a lot of people said Jay Z was going to win for his four 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 album. J- J- okay, and which is also a great album. Uh, it, it was um, great. You know, Childish Gambino was on there also. Right, and he won for what, like old school R and B? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he won for an R and B album as well for R and B, um, which, which is fine. I just I think that Kendrick Lamar. I'm really upset. I feel like he got shafted on this one, and the Grammys just don't embrace rap, and they haven't over the past 25 years. Um, I think you said too, but I from what I read, only one rap album has won that award, and it was like. They it was Outcast, which was like which was a great album, right? And and still don't believe that it was better than Stanconia, which, is, which uh, Speaker Box Love Below. No, it's way better than Stanconia. No, I don't think so. Speaker Box and Love Below is way better. No, I prefer Stanconia. You're crazy, anyways. Um, but uh, the um, I, I I don't know what the other one is. I didn't research it, but yesterday they were saying too because you know during the pre-show they mentioned that they thought either Kendrick Lamar or Jay-Z was going to get the right. the award. And the Jay-Z album came out of nowhere. It was like a big resurgence for him too. Yeah, well, you know, that paired with his interview with Van Jones over the weekend mm-hmm. and paired with the fact that in New York he's from Brooklyn. I mean, I mean Jay-Z's Jay-Z's right, riding a wave right now. He's hot right now. Right. You know? Um but um Jay-Z didn't win anything. Kendrick Lamar at least won shit last night. Right. Like Jay Z. Like, best video for uh, Humble. He got he got best rap song too or something like that. Best rap album. Or I best rap album. Right. Yeah. But I, I still I'm you know, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say agree with you. I don't think the Grammys doesn't like hip hop. If you watch the Grammys yesterday, first of all, the you know the, all the awards that they gave out was for country music, pop music, hip hop, and R and B. You know they had like three or four awards that they gave out for hip hop and R and B uh, yesterday. Like two country awards, like two pop awards, and then the main ones. Right. You know the uh, the rock isn't even mentioned anymore on the Grammys. It's like right. not even relevant. You know. Right. Like that award isn't even mentioned. Uh, any any of the other, you know, they did comedy album, which was weird. Ah, oh, Dave Chappelle won. Oh, well, of course he won. I mean, you know, genius. I mean, the shit that's it was great. It was genius. It was great. Then he yeah. he is um it's it's insane um. You know, going back and thinking about, it, you remember when Dave Chappelle left uh, at the height of his popularity yeah. with the Chappelle Show, yeah. and we were all like, "What the fuck happened?" Right? He yeah, walked yeah. away from fifty million, went to Africa, yeah, yeah. right? And uh, if you look at his comedy now, and you look at his comedy from back then, you can tell that his comedy back then was being produced, like mass produced. He is a completely different comedian than what I thought he was. Yeah, like he is a really like socially aware very intelligent comedian before you thought he was this like pothead you know half baked uh, gimmicky you know um but now his commentary has been and and the the netflix specials were crazy that movie i have baked yeah yeah and and now you look at his comedy and it's like we're seeing a different person just goes to show how much input hollywood has on your art you know i and you know of course you can't have an award show in this moment in time right now without addressing the different things. I mean, of course, they talked about uh, the women's movement happening, the Me Too, the Time's Up movement. They and, were, and it was it was a bad know. it was a bad look for the Grammys. Like, uh, we were I, I wouldn't say it's a bad. I mean, it, it's it's you know, it, it's a social trend that's happening right now that actually has 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 weight to it in the industry. Um, so, you know, they did it on the Golden Globes. They did it on the SAGs. They did it last night on the Grammys. They're going to do it on the uh, on on the Oscars, you know, guaranteed. Yeah. You know? I mean, if, if more than ever, we're going to see it on the Oscars, you know? Um, but I, I think, again, the, the, with the Grammys, um, Lord, you know, she didn't get offered. Uh, she wasn't allowed to do a solo performance. Maybe they thought she was just going to dance again. Oh, who knows? Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> remember for the MTV thing? Yeah, but... She, she didn't even sing. She just decided but to and, dance. And why do we track. have YouTube doing three performances? They're not even nominated for anything. Uh, they did two. They they did a cameo with Kendrick Lamar in the beginning. Right. Which was great. The, right. the Kendrick Lamar performance in the beginning. And then they great. did the Statue of Liberty they one. The Statue of Liberty one. That was and then it. they did one where it was just Bono and uh, The Edge. No, they, they presented the award. They presented an award. I mean, they're all over the place. Yet Lord, who's nominated for Album of the Year, can't. Uh, they don't allow. all over the place because they are they are icon status, no different than Madonna or Elton John, who had a little, you know. Right, but co- cut status. something to allow Lord to to perform. Uh, I mean, I mean, the wake of the YouTube movement. Don't you think that's a little like? L- Lord should have performed if she was nominated for Album of the Year, of course. No, don't, don't you think the gra- that's a little short sighted of the Grammys? I mean, it's all about optics, right? They're doing this YouTube. Everyone's dressed in white. Kesha had. 
from what I saw, I saw the video. That was an amazing performance that Kesha did. Like, yeah. you and know, Kesha and had a real story. Yeah, to, yeah, to real tell. story. Oh, yeah. And and so they're all focused on this Me Too thing, and then Lord doesn't get to perform. It looks awful. I look. We don't know the backstory of it. Maybe no. Lord didn't want to perform. I don't know. She was offered I mean, to do a tribute, to, uh, a tribute cover for with a bunch of people for uh, Tom Petty, and she said no. Oh, during the in memoriam section. Yeah, but she did because she wanted, you know, she didn't want to do like a tribute. She wanted to do her own song. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, she should have performed just solely on the fact that she's a nominee, regardless right. of if you're a man or a woman. If you're, if 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 you have six nominees for the top category and five of them perform and the sixth one doesn't and they're in attendance, that's kind of. Fun. Did you have a problem with Beyonce not winning for Lemonade? No. No. No, I didn't. Because uh, uh, musically speaking, I, I wasn't. I, I I didn't like it musically. Okay. Um, I, I'm not big on lyrics. I'm sure her lyrics were amazing, but that's not really what I listen to when I listen to music. I'm more about the production and the melodies and the the stuff happening behind the voice. Right. Um, and it just it, it really didn't it didn't do it for me. So I I wasn't offended by it by any means. Mm -hmm. Why you were? No, just curious. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not a big Beyonce fan, anyways. To be honest, I'm I'm uh, you know I like pop music. I'm not gonna lie. You know? We we and should do a we should do a list of like maybe do like five biggest uh, album of the year snubs. I mean, that's gonna take some research. We might have to you know yeah do some research on that. But we should you know. But anyway, so uh, Grammys were Grammys were last night. I mean, aside from the Me Too movement, to uh, that guy Logic came out and did his Suicide Hotline song. Um, you know, that, that's really blown up logic. Yeah, it really has, and he gave a speech at the end too. Um, yeah. that they the Grammys asked him to do, and which was pretty, pretty powerful. Uh, Jan Jan Janelle Monet Monet came out right. and addressed you know the 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 gender inequality in the music industry because it's been very focused on Hollywood, right? Uh, the movie industry. Well, I know it happens in the music industry as right. well. Um, you know, I mean, do you think the the how politicized things have become in general is what kept people away from the Grammys. They were looking at, they are saying something like 20% drop in viewership from last year. Really? Yeah. It could be, you know. I mean, there's a lot of angst in the country. For sure. I mean, it, it's done something to the NFL, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The NFL's been affected. Um, well, who the so, fuck wants to see New England and the Philadelphia? No, 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 but it, this has been all year across the board, yes, the NFL, right? And so, do you think that they need to have a little separation you know between the politics and the entertainment industry a little. You know what it is? Entertainment is an escape from reality. Right. You exactly. Know? And and people go to concerts, they go to the movies, they go to theater to get away from reality. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to go to those shows and and be reminded of 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 the hardships of life, then it's not fun anymore. Entertainment is supposed to be fun. No. And the minute that you stop making it fun is the minute people change the channel. No. You know? So I know that's what kept me away, so. No, you were sleeping, you fuck. No, and but I didn't I didn't watch it for that. I didn't wake up for that reason. Well if you would told me someone leaked Black Panther the movie on TV, I would have wake woke up and watched it. Oh, uh, okay. Well whatever. Anyways, all right, so award season, we're balls deep in award season. Yeah. Make sure that you're a, a white man if you want to win anything. That's that's not true. Bruno Mars is not fucking white, dude. I know. He won all the awards. I know. Your argument just makes no sense just now. No. We're not going to talk. I'm not going to talk, give my opinion about Bruno Mars. Oh, we also had the chick from Fifth Harmony come out and talk about her Cuban heritage, too. Yeah, she did. Yeah. What do you think about that? <sighs> Cuban? Come on. It's a real story. What's wrong with that? Um. What do you think she's, is it, she, do you think that she's exploiting it? Mm-hmm. What, what 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 do you think? No, I think she really feels it. Okay, so why, Cubans are why the, a, why the sour political. Face? Cubans are a political bunch because again, she brought into something that, like, like okay, you have a your song Havana. Congratulations. Yeah. You've done nothing with your life. You take the biggest moment in the stage to politicize this event because of what's going on with DACA and all the immigration stuff. So, See, you, you, just yeah, you know, again. Uh, by the way, anyone who believes that we need to ship off children, shame on you. I agree. Shame on you. That's like that's the fucking stupidest thing I've ever. Well, heard not of. just children, but but children, people. And you know what's really people. nefarious about it? it? It's not even that. And I'm sorry to get Paul. Because look, I'm gonna do it here. Fuck it. If the Grammys could do it, I'm gonna fucking do it. So Trump, 
like you know what's even worse than this whole DACA thing I don't think that it's about him wanting to sh ship off children I think that it's a way that he's using them as a bargaining ship to get what he wants that is fucking even more disgusting absolutely he yeah. wants the wall so that's what he's doing yeah so he's taking something like children and using them as a bargaining ship listen i'm gonna say this gross this is the one thing i'm gonna say gross if someone wants to do something they're gonna do it a wall is not gonna keep them out if you want proof of that check out east west germany and the wall and see how well that worked out for however many years then again now. it kind of works in over in israel i mean ted the terrorism what we saw in the 90s in israel compared to what we see now is it's nothing. Every weekend was a bombing at in the, the 90s. At, at the end of the day, it does not promote unification. It promotes segregation. No, well, that's a wall. Well, anyways. See how fucking shitty it is when people bring politics into your entertainment? So anyway, so uh, but what, what I was going to say, back, back, to the, back to the Grammy things real quick. Um, Despacito got snubbed. Despacito didn't yeah. win anything, and that is... Arguably, if not factually, like the number one single... It has to be the biggest song this year. And no, it was you the biggest. You can't get away year. from it. And it's one of the biggest ever. Yeah. You know? Not to mention, though, it's be Justin Bieber really catapulted that song to a right. worldwide smash. Yeah, he's he did. already a big smash in the Latin community. Right. But Justin Bieber made it crossover and made it a worldwide smash, who was not in attendance yesterday and did not perform with yeah. him. I don't know if that's because Luis Fonzi was like, I don't want to be showed up by Bieber. Because Bieber's a great performer. Hate him, yeah. hate him or love him, it doesn't matter. He's a great performer. But Bieber wasn't there. Another group that was snubbed that wasn't even there, Maroon 5. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of hits this past year. The Weeknd wasn't yeah. even nominated. No. Had, had, and, and he had a new album this past year and a lot of hit singles. Taylor Swift, who, you know, broke records with her album that came out a couple months ago. I'm not a big fan of it, but you cannot say she's not relevant. Right. The fact that she wasn't in attendance just makes no sense. Right. You know, so, I don't know. I don't know. There's Maybe the Grammys are just dying. Maybe all this stuff, they're just realizing it for what it is, a bunch of self-congratulatory bullshit that doesn't matter at the end of the day. I mean, uh, is it, I mean, listen, <laughs> I, 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 did you see Cardi B shit? No. She's ridiculous. She's like, oh my God, Like I, f I feel butterflies in my stomach and my vagina. That's what she said. I, I do not I like that. Like, I do not like I Cardi like, B. What? I feel that song is horrendous. I mean, her songs are horrible. They really yeah. are. But but uh, she says some funny shit. I got to give her yeah, that. Yeah, she does. And she is attractive, too. She's a yeah, very attractive. She's, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah. Uh, Grammys. I think the Oscars are the next award show, and then yeah. they're done. I don't know when the American Music Awards are, but who the fuck watches that anyway? No, yeah, no one cares. That's, yeah, big deal. So, enough of that. Let's talk about the toys that made us. Talk about some real shit, okay? Mm-hmm. Barbie was a whore. Wait, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. It was only four episodes long. Right. It wasn't long enough. They could totally do more. The first episode was uh, Star Wars. Yes. Second, Barbie. Third was He-Man. Fourth was G.I. Mm -hmm. Joe. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just. What was your favorite of the four? Oh, it was GI Joe. Was it really? Without a doubt, GI Joe was my favorite tour of the '80s, and GI Joe has the spirit of Ronald Reagan. Okay. Yeah, and being that I'm not, you know, being that I'm Hispanic, I'm okay with Ronald Reagan. It's not like he didn't introduce crack to destroy my community. See, I believe it or not, I think I like the Barbie episode the best. Really. You know what? It was. Is this because you're running for office? No, I really. Okay. Didn't. No, no, no. I, 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 sure. I, I, I thought, it, you know, it, like it was. First of all, Mattel ripped off that fucking European Barbie. Yeah. Like horror it, Barbie. It looked exactly the same. It looked thing. the same. Yeah. Exactly the same. Like yeah. what the fuck? Holy crap! American ingenuity is just stealing people's other shit. <laughs> That's not true either. Shut up, Jesus. Um, but uh, <laughs> but but Bar Barbie was. <laughs> Yeah, tell that to the Wright brothers and Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. Yeah, they probably stole that shit from someone else. And Steve Jobs. I'm sure there was some little Polish guy yeah. that figured out how to fly over his. Yeah, yeah, right. Tesla got his shit stolen. <laughs> Tesla. I mean, this whole country, this country in itself was stolen. Stolen from Brits, from Indians, from French, from everybody. Let's do this. What? Wow, you're totally. You are, you are, you are, are, are we sure we're not like on Fox and Friends, it's Rachel Maddow? <laughs> You're, no, dude, no, no, please. 
No Rachel Maddow for me. Okay. The, it was great. Like the Barbie episode was pretty good. I Barbie, I was surprisingly super entertained by the Barbie episode. I was. You know? I cannot believe that woman was busted for securities fraud. I know. It's crazy. Like, yeah. like such a rich history over at Mattel. And, and you know what's great? You look at the 80s. Like, she got busted for security fraud. She got, like, six months of home, like, house probation or some bullshit. Yeah, it's very now hard, you're getting, hard like, 20 story. years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the Barbie episode was great. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Star Wars episode was amazing. The He-Man episode was amazing. The G.I. Joe episode was great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like the dramatiz- trauma- dramatization in the G.I. Joe episode. I understand that the guy they were talking about isn't alive anymore, which is why they did that. But yeah. I didn't think it was necessary. I thought they could have told the story through the other people, kind of like they did in the other um, episodes. But whatever. but it's a huge part of the story. It is a huge part. Kind of how like Bill Fingers become like the biggest part of Batman, right? Uh, uh, right now, yeah, to, yeah. to, to fans. And stuff, like yeah. Bill Finger is like huge. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, the toys that made us like like what a what a great show, what a great little concept that is. Whoever came up with that. So you said they renewed it for more episodes. Well, they're doing four more episodes. Four more episodes. Okay, so four more episodes. Did they announce what toys? No. All right, so we're gonna go back and forth. All right. Sure. All right. Of the four toys that that we want to cover. All right. Sure. I'll let you go first. Go. Transformers. Genius. Genius. Ah. Uh. So good. The uh, robot version of He Man. Ah, uh, Transformers is genius. That's yeah. Good. I'm gonna go with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I said that. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. I gave you. I gave you one. Uh, go, go. Um, the Toy Biz X Men. Or just the Toy Biz Marvel. Or Toy Biz, yeah, Toy Biz Marvel. Yeah. Wow. I'm drawing blanks now, dude. You want me to go for you? No, no, I don't want you to go for me. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, yeah, go for me. Cabbage Patch Kids. Yeah, that's good too. But that was uh, Nerf. Fuck Nerf. Nerf was huge. Nerf. Thundercats. Lego. Lego's good. Lego would be great. Show me some fucking Lego. Yeah, Lego would be good. Uh, Thundercats. I think that's nah, that wasn't that big. You might as well do GoBots. Do a do a dual episode. Put them mm. both in the same episode. The GoBots. The GoBots. Dun 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 dun. Let's talk about something real quick. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You could totally do that. Bandai. Wow. Blew up. Yeah, I could totally see Power Rangers. Even though that was a rip off of Ultron. Mm. Yeah, but uh, the toys it made us. I kind hope. of, kind of a ripoff of a real American hero. The toys that made us mm-hmm. a real American hero. The toys that made us. This is why we need a script, <laughs> right? It's it's kind of the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. If I was the guy that wrote the jingle to GI Joe, I'd be like, motherfucker, you ripped me off with your jingle. Mm. What are the toys? I don't know what other toys. Uh, Batsy, what other toys? I remember like big like. Care Bears. Oh no! No, My Little of co- Pony. Of course he would say. Of course he would say Care. Bears. How about My Little Pony? Jesus, you should see how tight his shirt is right now. How about My Little Pony? <laughs> my Little Pony's a good big one, right? I'm sorry. Was My Little Pony big? No, just as big as Rainbow Bright. Nah. Uh, you know what? What toy was huge? The Simon Says. The game. The game. You remember that shit? Simon. It was a Simon. Teddy Ruxpin was pretty big for a year. They're not going to make a show about Teddy Ruxpin. I would love it. You know, uh, just like they're not going to make a show about Alvin and the Chipmunks or any of that stuff. Teddy Ruxpin was no, great. No, you know what it's going to be? I'm telling you, here's what it'll be. It's going to be Transformers for sure. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Sure. Those two are definitely in there. Yeah. Um, I think they need a girl toy. Um, My Little Pony, that's what I'm telling you. I don't know. I, I, I would... I, would, uh, I mean, Cabbage Patch Kitchen is going to be one. I would probably go with Cabbage Patch over, over My Little Pony. Power Rangers would be great too. That's a good pull. Power Rangers, I like that. Mm-hmm. How crazy was the Star Wars story that Kenner lost the license because they didn't pay George Lucas the ten grand? Yeah, like yeah. And then Hasbro just swallowed him up. And right. The massive company that they are. No. And now how Has- about that guy's collection? Oh, insane. That's that's I think the craziest thing I saw on these. I, I thought I. They should have just cool. done a, an episode on his collection. I know. Like I know. that was insane. Insane. Yeah. Um. So when do you think they'll do something like for like video games like Nintendo? 
I don't know, but Nintendo isn't considered a but, you know, but But, I mean, back in the 80s, it was. Like, before, you know, when video games were for kids, I mean, Nintendo was huge in the 80s. Look, I could I could eat up a Nintendo six-part documentary yeah. easily. Like, please, just Atari. give me... Give, I don't care about Atari, Batsy. Atari. Atari sucks. It's all about Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo. And if you want to... Guys, if you want to learn about Atari, just go to uh, your podcast and search How I Built This. The founder of Atari is on there. Mm. It's an NPR episode. It's pretty good, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the whole series is like, uh, like, like the guy from Home Depot is on. There. Right, the guy right. From Dell computers, whatever. Uh, that's it, right? All right, I think that's it, man. GI Joe, the toys that made us. GI Joe is there. Go Joe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Steve. Migo. Migo. We're just saying Migo. I was just trying to like send this off and like we're still talking. Well, what? he said Migo. What is Migo? Migo toys. What's Migo? They're toys, man. Yeah. See, Batsy's fifty years old, so he remembers that shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like the old Bruce Wayne with the with the dope. So why don't we do uh, for one of these weeks coming up a to- a top. Five list of our favorite toys, not in general toys, but specific individual toys that we played what, like with. Like an action figure? Yeah, sure. Like I really like my Snake Eyes action figure. Yeah, that's great. I don't know. We'll see about that. I mean, Black Panther's come up. We gotta do that review. Yeah, Black Panther. Holy shit! No. Yeah. Super excited. Speaking of toys, I'm going to New York Toy Fair. I'm oh, super excited. That's awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. I, I invited Wanski, but he's like, I don't want to go. I have things to do. Yeah. Yeah. I have things to do. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to do on the weekend. He's free. He's got he's got he's got his kids to take care of, you know. Hey, the but kids. The, you know, uh, yeah, but but but. but yeah, you just throw them over the side a little bit. No, your their mom can hang out with him for the weekend. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Corker Comics forward slash. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been dyslexic like crazy about the URL mm-hmm. today, like. YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics or just search Corker Comics and we will come up there. Subscribe. Uh, also, check me out at Stephen Corker, StephenCorker.com. I'm running for office. Could use your help. District 23. That's in South Broward and a little bit of East Miami Dade on the beach. Uh, for Tom and Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I am Stephen Corker. I'm Juan Farage. Later.